Hey guys, it's just five tips uh, to start working out and how to have a routine and how to stay consistent. So I'm just going to give you some five basic things that you should know and you should be implementing in your life to be able to keep working out constantly and being uh, consistent. So in order to see results, you got to have a routine. If you're not going to have if you're not going to have a routine, then what's the point in even working out because if you're just working out randomly, like when you want to, uh, you know, if you don't feel like it, you're not going to work out, blah, blah, blah. No, you got to have a routine and you got to have the motivation to do it. And in order to have the motivation to work out, you got to have a routine. So a routine could be simple as either you work out before you go to work or after you go to work. Or if you go to school, uh, you can do it in the mornings before you go to school or you can do it uh, after school, but you got to have a routine. Of course, you got to fit it into your uh, daily schedule. So uh, whatever your schedule is, you got to make it work for you. If it's not going to work for you, uh, then you're not going to be seeing results. So that's the first tip. You got to have a routine where you're working out either a set time each day or you have like a schedule where you know you're working out this day, on this time, this day, at that time, this day, at that time. You got to have a routine. So number two tip number two is realistic goals guys if you're not having realistic goals realistic goals you're not gonna get obviously you're not gonna get to your uh, outcome that you want you know whether it be you know oh I want to have a six-pack by the end of this month you know if you're fat and uh, you want a six-pack at the end of the month well sorry guys that might not be realistic depending on where you're at how, how overweight you are, how fat you are, whatever, it doesn't matter. You gotta have realistic goals. So say instead of I am 50 pounds overweight and at the end of the month I wanna have a six pack, well, that's not gonna work. Instead of saying that, what you wanna do is be like, okay, I'm 50 pounds overweight, uh, by the end of the month I wanna shed at least 20 of these pounds and that's pretty doable, especially if you have the right detox going, you have the right uh, regimen and the right cardio going. Um, but it has to be realistic. Without realistic goals, you wouldn't, you would never, ever, ever get to where you want to be. See, me personally, a realistic goal for me is I want to just overall increase my, uh, my strength. And my to get to that point, I gotta have uh, realistic goals set to get overall uh, more strength. So that would be, you know, uh, whether it be I gotta get from. Uh, say 40 push-ups in a row within a minute to maybe 50 push-ups in a minute uh, within a month. That's really doable. Just make it realistic, guys. You just want to stay consistent and just keep going. It has to be realistic. So, number three, number th the third tip is, I've said this a lot already, but staying consistent. You gotta stay consistent. Every, every person who has, uh, fulfilled whatever in their life or has even lost weight they had to stay consistent where there would be something super simple staying consistent with just simply walking around walking around your park every single day for at least an hour uh, stay consistent with that or if you're more advanced staying consistent with doing like a full body workout every single day um, for a half hour to an hour straight you got to stay consistent to see goals because that's what's gonna that's what's gonna keep you know keep going if I for instance <laughs> if I wanted to gain um, an extra an extra like five reps on my pull-ups or something and or my uh, curl up or curl ups chin-ups if I wanted to go from 20 chin-ups to 25 chin-ups I have to be consistent by every single day or at least every other day or whatever is gonna work for you do those that exercises that are going to be strengthening your arms consistently every single day so the fourth tip is you got to have a good why a good why and what do I mean by that you got to have a good why is that basically if you don't know why <laughs> why you're doing it what is your goal or, or, or what is your why um, if you don't have a good why you're not going to feel motivated to even do the exercises in the first place. For instance, my why of why I want to go out and I want to exercise every day and I want to and I want to get in shape and I want to uh, be healthy is because I want to be <laughs> I want to be 
not just better than I was the day before or the year before, but I want to have uh, within my life, my whole life, I want to be healthy. I want to feel good. I don't want to feel like crap. I don't want to feel. I don't want to. I don't feel like a couch potato every single day of my life from now and on. I don't. <laughs> I don't want to feel lazy, and that's that's a pretty strong why, in my opinion. Um, whatever gets you motivated and with your why you need to do it whether whether that be you know I want to get in shape to get that girl I want to get that in shape to get uh, another girl or whatever whatever your your why is you got to keep going forward with it um, so if your why is maybe you're a lady and you just want to impress that other mate or whatever that other guy or the other woman I don't know if you're I don't know what kind of I don't know what kind of stuff you're into, whether you're like a lady, you're a lady that likes ladies, or a guy that likes guys, Oof. Anyways, you gotta have a realistic why as well. So, have a good why. So the last one, the fifth, the fifth uh, tip, and which is, I think, in my opinion, the best tip is basically, you gotta have good sleep plus diet, and of course your exercise. But people, I, I see so many people, especially at the gym uh, or anywhere, even online, they um, they lack in sleep, and which is rest. It could be sleep also with rest. So like you know, uh, having your off days for um, working out, but people lack to sleep and their off days and their diet. Diet is actually really, really the most important thing. Uh, you gotta focus on just either either at first, you know. Uh, eating more eating more like plant-based foods like eating more salads in your diet getting more smoothies in your diet juices things like that um, you gotta have a diet if you're just working out and you wanna you wanna lose weight uh, you gotta you gotta think about what you're doing you're you gotta exp <laughs> you, you need you need to have a good diet with exercise diet and exercise go hand in hand if you're just eating junk food all the time and still working out and, and you're wondering why aren't I losing this weight why aren't I getting in shape why do I feel like crap still when I'm working out oh my gosh blah 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 well dude guys that yeah that is because you're still eating the junk food the trash food it starts with one by one just getting rid of each junk food at a time whether it be just today I'm just gonna eat I'm just gonna drink water instead of soda and just keep doing water instead of soda and on and on and sooner or later you'll get rid of the junk food basically yeah so and your sleep guys if you're not getting enough sleep your body's not gonna have enough rest to, to build those muscles back up the muscles that you tore the muscles your body just needs rest okay uh, your body, when you're sleeping, does the most uh, repair it for your body, not just with exercise, but all sorts of things like that. Um, like, yeah. Anyways, you guys get the point. This video was really random. I hope it helped you guys. Um, yeah. So basically, I hope these five tips helped you guys. Please like, subscribe, and hit that notification button. Um, thank you so much for watching this video and I really hope that you fulfill your goals. Damn cat. Alright, see you guys. Oh.